Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com. Just remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Earlier today, while I was in the middle of a mini vacation, the news broke that Antonio Margarito had met with two eye doctors approved by the New York State Boxing Commissioner. They apparently both gave Margarito a clean bill of health. It looks like Cotto Margarito is on. Now, let me just say this. This fight is riskier than most. If you're looking for a clean cut prediction, this is not the video for you. Right? This is high risk. I've written that I usually don't bet on fighters coming off of injuries. And here you have Margarito coming off of a broken orbital bone and eye cataract surgery. Right? Two separate injuries. Not only that, Margarito has been out of the ring for more than a year. And so, given all of those facts, and given that the fight is happening in New York City, that Margarito is widely viewed as a fighter who may have cut corners in past fights, given that the crowd is going to be a pro Miguel Cotto fight uh, crowd, and given that Miguel Cotto has a point when he points out that the gauze on Antonio Margarito's hand wrap actually was torn when he took off his gloves at the end of their first fight. In other words, gauze doesn't tear. Right? And keep in mind, the blocks that were found when Antonio Margarito fought Shane Mosley were actually right before that fight. They had to rewrap Margarito's fight uh, hand for that fight. Those blocks were actually placed under the gauze. Right? It was only when they took off the hand wrap that the block fell out. Given all of those facts, which suggest that the first fight with Cotto may, might not have been on the up and up, I don't know, but I have my doubts. Given all of those facts, in the rematch, I like Antonio Margarito to repeat his victory over Miguel Cotto. You know, when you get beaten up like Miguel Cotto got in the first fight, your chances of winning the second fight are remote. Recently, there are a series of fights that I think are a bit analogous. The Ivan Calderon, Giovanni Segura fights, where Segura came at Calderon, who was the superior technician in the ring. And I'll concede, Cotto is the superior technician in the ring. In those fights, the first fight, Calderon's able to hold off Segura for a few rounds. But eventually, Calderon's inability to maintain an established distance costs him. Segura gets inside, destroys him. Well, in the rematch, that happened even faster. And I've spoken with Miguel Cotto fans. They point out that Cotto did dominate the beginning of the first fight. I'll concede that. But all I know is that when we got to the eighth round of that first fight, Cotto started getting hit hard, and Cotto was unable to keep Margarito off of him. I don't think Cotto's stamina will have improved between the first fight and now, right? I think Margarito is going to come at him hard. Margarito came at Manny Pacquiao hard. I think Margarito is going to walk Miguel Cotto down a second time. And I think Cotto is going to start the fight just like he did the last time, boxing, moving, because that was effective. Unfortunately, I don't believe that strategy is going to hold. I believe just like in the first fight, I believe Margarito is going to walk Cotto.
Cotto down in this fight. Now, let's talk Margarito's punching power. I understand that many people are skeptics on the punching power post him getting caught with plaster of Paris ingredients in his gloves right before the Shane Mosley fight. Understand that he fought Roberto Garcia after that fight, knocked him down early, right? Margarito looks like he still has punching power. I'm not suggesting that he was clean in the prior fights. I don't know, right? I simply don't know, although I do wonder about that torn gauze. My views on that first fight have evolved. I do wonder about that torn gauze. But the one thing I will say is that in looking at the Manny Pacquiao fight, where Pacquiao, after the fight, said that he felt Margarito's punches, he got hurt in that fight. That's Manny Pacquiao talking. I believe he was being more than gracious there. And given that Roberto Garcia conceded that he got dropped by Margarito early in their fight. Garcia got off the canvas, was able to go the distance, but understand, Margarito at full strength still has pop. And given that Margarito landed dozens of punches on Miguel Cotto in the first fight, look at Cotto's face. I'm expecting a rematch. Excuse me. Um, I'm expecting a replay of their first fight only. I'm expecting Margarito to end this fight earlier than he did the last one. If I'm betting this fight, and it's high risk, it's very high risk, the bet I would put on the table would be Antonio Margarito to win the fight you're getting a plus 175 Margarito is the underdog right it's Margarito to win the fight at plus 175 straddled against Miguel Cotto by knockout right what I don't see is this fight going the distance and Miguel Cotto getting a decision I understand this pick is controversial I'm not saying that Margarito is or has been a Boy Scout. I'm not even saying that I'm completely convinced that Margarito isn't having vision problems in his surgically repaired eye. But what I am saying is the way the first fight went down was so emotional, so dramatic, and so thorough. And since Cotto had no answers at the end of that first fight, I'm expecting this fight to pick up exactly where that first fight left off. I think Margarito wins it. For Cotto to win it, I believe he has to get a knockout. That's how I see it. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and predictboxing.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.